The airport problems continue nationwide because of the weather. Leaving thousands of people stuck at the airport. So we wanted to know what options do passengers have? CBS 2's Ali Bauman live at Newark Airport where 30% of flights have been canceled tonight. Christina Maurice, we talked to so many people today who, after their flights got canceled, spent hours waiting in lines like this one just to rebook another flight three days from now. And in the meantime, most have to either pay for a hotel or sleep at the airport. So we asked, why does it have to be that way? Drew Caniza is willing to drive the 16 hours home to Orlando or even take the 23 hour train ride. But at Newark Airport, both options are sold out. But I got I got two kids at home, so it's uh, got to get home to them. His flight was canceled, and the next available option isn't until Thursday. The airline, he says, is not helping to find or pay for a place to stay. The added expense of a hotel room, another flight, all that stuff. I mean, it, it adds up. The weather has put thousands of passengers in similar seats at all three New York airports since Sunday. United Airlines is blaming the mess on FAA staffing shortages. The company's CEO wrote in an email to employees Monday, the weather. Weather we saw in Newark is something that the FAA has historically been able to manage without a severe impact on our operation and customers. Who is to blame here? What's Bill to McGee is the senior well, fellow for aviation at the American Economic Liberties Project. He says none of the airlines are in any position to point fingers. You are better protected on a U.S. airline in, say, Brussels or Paris than you are in Atlanta or Dallas. Think about the irony of that. That's because he says most other countries have an airline passenger bill of rights. If there's a delay, you get a meal. If it's a cancellation, you get a hotel. And there's no discussion. There's no argument. They are, they are mandated to do it by the government. Senator Richard Blumenthal introduced similar legislation earlier this year. Better protection against these unnecessary cancellation and delays. He believes if it doesn't pass, there will be many more days like this at the airport. The airline lobby has a lot of sway in uh, our nation's capital, but we have the people on our side. And the longer they're waiting right now at the gates to take off, the angry they're going to be and justifiably. Well, in response to the United Airlines CEO, a spokesman for the FAA told us that the agency is willing to collaborate with anyone seriously willing to join them to solve the problem. Meantime, a spokesman for the Department of Transportation told us the administration has taken unprecedented action to protect and expand travelers' rights. Rights when airlines cause cancellations and delays. We're live at Newark Airport. Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News.